What's up, Reactorites? Welcome to the John and Mike Show. I'm John. I'm Mike. And we're here to do a review on the X-Men Days of Future Past. And I just have to say, Brian Singer, bravo. It was a great movie. A's all around. I can't wait to see it again. This is X-Men is like Brian Singer's calling. Uh, he should stick, stay away from movies like what is it, uh, Jack the Giant Slayer? <laughs> Stay away from S Superman. Superman Returns. Yeah. Just stick with doing X-Men movies, because that's what he's good at. Yeah, this is basically the reboot. Like, I remember one of the things that I felt after watching uh, First Class, and I think you did as well, was like, you kind of have like this feeling like, oh, it's still attached to the original series, or at least to X-Men Origins, and there's still like a lot of like hiccups and like, you know, a, continuity errors but now it's like it's been rebooted. This, I want to talk about like my favorite part Precious Brian Singer going all out especially during the future scenes with uh you got Colossus, you have Iceman, you have Shadowcat. This them fighting against the futuristic Sentinels like the battles they're pretty hardcore. You remember what I mean? Like especially in the opening? Mm -hmm. Uh Terminator. Terminator 2. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah yeah they're, yeah, they're pretty much they remind me of the T-1000 because like the T-1000 is hard to kill these new Sentinels are hard to kill and these are powerful mutants and they're having a tough time. This is a very serious movie, by the way. This is not like the Avengers or any yeah. of like, I, I think you can't really compare it to Marvel. Like it's got a very serious tone to it. Way more serious. So it's kind of like in the comic book, the subject matter in a comic book is very dark too, because you're talking about like the end of the world, the extinction, um, the extinction yeah. of like mutants and humans. Speaking of that, like I love, I love seeing Michael Fassbender and uh, James McAvoy again as, you know, Professor X, Magneto, like the chemistry between them, just them fighting each other, it's, it's great. And uh, you know what, I have to say, I thought, I mean, we bashed him so much before the movie. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name, but... Uh, oh, uh, you're talking about Quicksilver? Yeah, Quicksilver. Yeah. yeah, he was actually really good. Like his little, he had a lot of charisma, like even though yeah. he didn't really say a lot of lines. But just like his character, well, and... we just bashed him just because of the way he looked. <laughs> yeah, I didn't yeah. like the goggles, and you know, it just. Yeah. But yeah, he, he had a really good uh, part in this movie, and uh, they actually do kind of hint at his uh, relationship with uh, Magneta. with his father. Yeah, you said Magneta. Magneta. <laughs> <laughs> the way they showed his powers is pretty cool. So that means Joss Whedon, you better watch out because you better. You better upstage them. <laughs> yeah, you gotta up your game for that. I'm oh, as for the Easter eggs, yes, X-Men Days of Future Past will have an Easter egg, so stay at the very end of the movie, and it's a hint of the next movie to come, which is X-Men Age of Apocalypse. Who's in that? I wonder. Who's in that? I don't know, dude. Do I don't know. Anyways, go see this movie. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, tell us what you think about it, right in your, here in the comment section right comment there. section below yeah. like this video subscribe and uh, we'll see you guys later peace